everyone, I'm really excited to announce that for today's video, I have teamed up with Google and we are giving away a brand new Google Pixel 4 to a lucky winner, someone who's watching this video right now, so it could be you. And we also have a few discount codes to give away for the Google Store to some runners up. So for today's video, Dan and I are here in this location and we are going to be taking some portraits of each other using the Pixel 4 camera. I want to show you guys some features that you can use in the Pixel 4 camera to take really beautiful photos. So this location that we're at here today is a pretty average, normal looking park that I think you can kind of find anywhere. And Dan and I are just normal people, we're not models. So I'm going to give you guys some tips on taking better portraits on a mobile phone today. And then a little bit later on in the video, I'll get into all the details about the giveaway and how you can win this phone for yourself. So we're going to get started now. Um, enjoy. <laughs> As you can see, we are in a pretty normal looking park. It's got very manicured grass, but for my photography, something that I really like to do is to find wild and unruly kind of natural locations to shoot with because I feel like they make for really interesting backgrounds in portraits. So right here on the edge of the park, we've got all these beautiful reeds, um, kind of just wild grass that hasn't been cut and some trees in the far background, which is going to be the background for our first portrait. When you have a location like this with trees in the very far background, I really love to use portrait mode on the Pixel 4 as it'll completely blur the background and create some really nice bokeh that kind of looks like something you would take or that would come out of a DSLR. So I'm gonna ask Dan to stand over there just in the reeds of the grass and we're gonna take a few photos in portrait mode. I'm gonna chop, <laughs> I'm gonna chop your legs <laughs> Chop them off. <laughs> I'm gonna kind of cut the framing off just above his knees. I find that that's always a really flattering way to compose your photos when you're getting a medium close-up shot of someone. Did you bring the saw? <laughs> I brought back. And just like what Dan's doing right now, I'm just gonna ask him to kind of pace around a little bit, look at the camera, look away from the camera, put your hands in your pockets, take them out of your pockets, like just do all these like little movements. One, st take a step back and look to the side. Yeah. Not too much to the side. <laughs> So pretty. I love the book here. So for Dan's portraits of me, he's going to be shooting in landscape instead of portrait mode. So we're gonna have a wider image, which in my opinion tends to make photos look a little bit more cinematic. And especially with this location, which looks quite dreamy and flowy, that's the kind of look I wanna go for for this photo. And we also, Dan is also crouching down, so we have a lower angle on the photo pointing upwards. How about like sideways? Like that. <laughs> As you can see from the last photos, when you use portrait mode on the Pixel 4, it gives your photos a really dreamy, uh, soft kind of feel, which is really nice. So for this location here, I really wanted to feature these really cool reeds. I love them. So I've asked Dan to crouch down here so we could get the full effects of the reeds. And I'm also using the normal camera. When you use a normal camera, everything from the foreground to the background is sharp. So I feel like, and also it's a wider angle lens. So I feel like it gives images a more kind of fashion feel, kind of an edgy feel to them. So we're going to take some pictures right here. And I'm practically going to be sitting on the ground. So I'm going to have a very upwards angle. So we'll just have Dan, the reeds and the sky pretty much in our frame. Maybe move your hands and your arms around a little bit. Like, yeah, that's cool, I like that. Maybe, would it be too feminine if you kind of did this? But in like your own way, I want to get like a closer up. <laughs> so 
So now it's my turn to be crouching in the reeds because Dan has made his way up there. I think that's pointing at you. <laughs> and I'm trying to get a really low angle. So the reeds are kind of surrounding Dan in this shot. And then we've got the kind of golden hour, dusky sky in the background of the photo. And I'm just trying to find a composition where the reeds are around him rather than covering him up. So I feel like, <laughs> I feel like there would be pretty cool or even here. So we're going to take a few photos here and I'll show you guys what it looks like. That looks cool. The next spot I want to take a portrait in is right here with these trees. So I'm going to use portrait mode again because I do want a dreamy style photo and also portrait mode shoots a photo a little bit more zoomed in, which again helps replicate a DSLR feel to a mobile phone photo. So in this location, this time we have some trees in the foreground of our photo and some trees in the background of a photo as well. So I'm gonna get Dan, our subject, to stand right in the middle of those trees and it will kind of look like he's just enveloped in nature and I think that will make for a really nice portrait. Yeah. Um, and maybe stand a little bit more out. A little bit more out. Yeah, that's perfect. I'm gonna take a shot and we'll see what it looks like. Yeah, that looks really cool. You're getting a little bit more because you've got that branch like sticking up into your face. Do you want to cross your arms? I feel like they're just hidden. Yeah. Cross. Something else that I really love to use with the Pixel 4 are the dual exposure sliders. So you have one slider here at the top that controls the overall brightness of the photo. So you can make it a lot brighter if it's quite dark or if it's looking too bright, you can bring the exposure down. And then with the bottom slider, you can bring up the shadows or you can also deepen the shadows if you want some more contrast or depth in your photo. I find that this comes in really, really handy when you're shooting in backlit situations as I showed you guys with my Pixel 4 review video. Um, so if you wanna see that in full effect with golden hour, we've got a lot of clouds today, so we don't have any sun. Uh, you can watch that video, which I'll leave linked down below for you. Whoa, there is a lot of bugs here. <laughs> So do I have like my hands up? So now the part that I'm sure you guys have all been waiting for is the giveaway part and how you can enter to win your own Google Pixel 4. So this giveaway for the Pixel 4 and the discounts to the Google store is for Australians only. And now that I've showed you guys all these cool things that you can do with the camera, all you need to do to enter is leave a comment down below and let me know what you would photograph or what you would film with your own Pixel 4. I'm looking for really creative answers. So the most creative answer, I'm really excited to read them all, is going to win the competition. And then there will be five runners up who will receive a 20% discount code to the Google store for a Pixel 4 or a Pixel 4 XL. So this giveaway is open for an entire week. So next week on Wednesday, I will be announcing the winner of the Pixel 4 and also the winner of the discount codes as well. I'll leave the exact date and time up here on the screen so you guys know, and also all the information about this giveaway in the description down below. Before we finish off this video, I have one more kind of photo that I wanna take, and that is using the night mode on the Pixel 4. So we're gonna head to that location right now. So here we are in our last location. This is something that we didn't really get the chance to do in our Pixel 4 review video. So I'm really excited to take some low light portrait photos and also some night sight portraits right here in this location with just the natural light available to us, including these cute little Christmas lights on the trees. So the first shot that I wanna take while we still have a little bit of sunlight left, I'm gonna use portrait mode and take a photo of Dan and try and have the lights of the trees kind of in like a line behind him. I'll just show you right now. <laughs> oh my gosh, isn't this like the coolest location ever? Do you wanna put maybe your hands in your pockets? And you have to stay a little bit still because it's getting dark. Oh, that looks so good. Look how cool that looks. That looks sick. 
So we are losing light. Light? What is very that? quickly. So Dan is now going to take some night sight portraits of me. And what I was thinking for this one, so I'm just talking while you're setting up the camera. You're running out of light. So what I was thinking for this one is I might try and stick my head in a tree. <laughs> so it'll be kind of like a portrait with the Christmas lights and the branches really close to my face. And we're gonna use night sight for that. Should we use this one? What should I do? Look that way. So I feel like in that shot, it was a little bit overboard with how many branches and lights and stuff there were. It was a little bit distracting. So we're gonna try one more shot of me standing against the tree, but a little bit more outside of the tree. So we'll see what that looks like. Can I have one in portrait here as well? Guys, if there's anything you want to see us do in this location, please let me know because I want to use this location every day. It's so pretty, especially at Blue Hour, hey? Yep. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video and you liked seeing the photos that Dan and I took of each other. I had a really fun time taking photos with you. <laughs> I'm also really, really excited to read all your comments on what you would shoot if you had a Pixel 4. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I make new videos every single week, so I will see you guys all next time. Bye.